one, two. I've picked up this. Inside of here is a red Game Boy. Original red Nintendo Game Boy, faulty. Bloody phone. There we go. The console turns on as seen in the photo, but goes off if the console is moved. There is something rattling around inside, so being sold as faulty. Now, I paid, the seller had it listed for £35, or best offer, and I offered £20, which he accepted, so I paid a grand total of £23.35p. Not a bad buy, so we'll see what you get for £23.35 and we'll find out if it's an easy fix. Quite nice condition. In fact, it's in such a nice condition, I'm wondering if it's a V shell. Because that shell is very nice. Game Boys do sound a little bit rattly, but not as rattly as that. So we'll put some batteries in. Not them ones. Them ones. Sounds on, just heard a sound, a ping. I'll try again. Right, we've got Pit Piper. The logo Pit Fighter. That sound. A bit we hear that. Now it's supposed to go off if it's moved, and it has. It's gone off, and it hasn't come back on. So let's open that up and find out. What's rattling around inside? The rattle is just the the case here. Corrosion. Corrosion on there, some battery spit. On the bottom here, that's that's a normal rattle. There's nothing loose in there. I'm thinking it's just this corrosion. Now these bottom ones, you just press out.
like so. So we'll clean these up. The corrosions eat through the the chrome. I think that's what's wrong with that one. That one's totally gone. This one's okay, but this one's gone. I'm going to have a look at my box of Game Boy spares and see if I've got a replacement one of these. I've been through my box of spares. These Game Boys are all... If you remember, I had a highly corroded Game Boy. I've taken... I've taken the battery connector out of the bottom of this highly corroded Game Boy. And I've got a few more Game Boys here. It's amazing how it's amazing how many you collect. That was the highly corroded game. No, that's not the highly corroded game boy. That's the highly corroded game boy that I fixed. I'm gonna need a bigger box. That's the replacement. That's the faulty one. Put this back together. There's a rattle, but that's I'm sure that's pretty pretty normal for Game Boys. Moment of truth. Contrast. Pit Fighter, there we go. Round one, volume, speakers on, we'll give it a shake, yeah, it's still playing, I was right, it's just that battery contact, and you can see from the contact, there's no silver plating left. So that can go in the bin and that's a working Game Boy for the pricely sum of £23. Uh, like I say I've been thinking about collecting all the different colours or collecting every Game Boy in a certain colour. So we'll get the, a red Game Boy and a... can you get a red Game Boy pocket and a, a red Game Boy colour? They would look nice on a shelf all lined up. But that's it for today. I've said in the past, if you do come across a Game Boy, pay attention. If it's corroded on the bottom, that's okay, because you can swap these out. If you've got corrosion on the top two, here and here, then the corrosion could very well be on the motherboard because these ones on the side connect directly to the motherboard. So this middle one can easily be replaced and the bottom two can easily be replaced. But the top two, that might give you problems. That's something to look out for. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click like and subscribe and all that waffle. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.